drop a like on this video or you won't green a single shot in NBA 2K21. I wouldn't take the risk. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your boy Chalk and I'm coming at you with another banger NBA 2K21 video, man. In today's video, we're going to be getting right back into the My Player Lab and I'm going to be telling you guys the best center builds that you need to be making in NBA 2K21 to dominate the game. I'm going to be giving you two different center builds in this video, guys. I'm going to be providing you with a shooting center and I'm going to be providing you with a non-shooting center. That way you guys can have builds no matter what style of play you are looking for. So be sure to stay tuned for both of those as they're both going to be the meta builds for NBA 2K21. I'm telling you guys, I've done a lot of research, putting a lot of hours into this build and I've come up with the best possible builds in NBA 2K21. But not gonna waste any more of you guys' time. Just a quick reminder to be sure to follow me on Instagram at J35H. If you like all of my pictures, I'll be sure to take the time and like all yours back. Also follow me on Twitter at Shock to stay up to date with what's going on. And I got some banger tweets as well. But without further ado, man, let's get right into this video. Now look, as you guys can see, we are making a center build, okay? But look, we're not going to leave the position at center, okay? Because you're just not, all right? You're not gonna leave your position at center. You're going to go for power forward. And yes, I know it's a center build video, but you're going to use this power forward build as a center build, okay? It's a power forward, but you're going to play it as a center. Now look, for your skill breakdown, all right? Your skill breakdown, you're gonna go ahead and select the pure red pie chart, okay? We're going to start with the non-shooting center first. So you're gonna go ahead and go with the pure red pie chart. Now listen, make sure you got your notepad out because I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of different facts and explaining a lot, okay? Because when I talk about center builds, it's always a controversial topic because people don't understand the insight the way I know it. So listen, you just gotta trust and believe me this build is going to be the meta. This build right here is going to be the meta of 2K21. So look, go ahead and pick the speed pie chart. Now look, for setting your potential, because you're just going to be on an inside, this is a pure inside build. All you're going to do is max out your defense and max out your finishing. And that's going to give you 18 finishing, 30 defensive and then you have 35 points to play around with, which I would throw on post moves. That way you have quicker moves out the post and then you can put it on free throw or, you know, whatever you want to put it on. But again, those other 30 points are all preference. And then if you feel like you need your free throw higher or your pass accuracy, stuff like that, you can obviously take some of your finishing down. I would leave the 30 defensive alone or you can take away from some of this. Like you can go down here, take that away, take 32 points away and you'll still keep your 30. But I wouldn't do stuff like that. All right. I would just max out the defense max out the finishing, max out the post moves, and you have four to throw on whatever you want, okay? Or your body shape, we're gonna go burly, all right? We're a center build, we wanna be a big body, we wanna get contact, we're gonna go burly, okay? Burly body shape, now look, this is where you gotta trust the kid, okay? For your height, you're going to go ahead and go with six foot eight, okay? Six foot eight centers are going to be the meta. If you look at the speed change from 6'9 to 6'8, you're already getting a plus seven speed, and that's without touching your weight at all. If you look at the speed change from 6'8 to 6'9, it's literally night and day. Trust and believe me, you're going to want to go with the 6'8 center, and then you see that you lose a little bit of rebounding, you're not going to lose that rebounding when we upgrade. Because as you can see right here, you're going to go 6'8, minimum weight, okay? 6'8, minimum weight, maximum wingspan. Now look, okay? When you are a 99 on this build, you're going to have plus four in all the categories. That's a 95 offensive rebound, a 97 defensive rebound, a 90 speed, and an 80 vertical. You are going to be a center with a 90 speed. I need you guys to understand how game changing that is because if you have a 90 speed as a center, it's going to be so tough for people to score on you simply because of how good you're going to be able to hedge. A lot of you guys go out and you make these builds that are 6'11", that are seven foot. Look at the difference. You go out, you make a seven foot player and you have a 67 speed, 6'11", 70 speed. It's not going to be good enough, guys. I'm just telling you right now, it's not gonna be good enough. You're going to wanna have that 90 speed. It's going to give you the edge on all of your opponents. Trust them, believe me, it's going to be the meta. And yes, I understand that the strength is low. I get it. But strength is irrelevant. It always has been and it always will be. When you have 30 defensive badges, nobody's going to bully you. And if you are getting bullied, you can put it on things like post lockdown and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, nobody is going to be able to bully this build. It's too OP. You're going to take that rim protector takeover so you can spam steal and you have created a glass cleaning finisher. 
I'm telling you guys right now, this build right here is the meta. It's the meta, I'm a period, point blank. There's no other way to put it. This build is going to be an absolute demon in the twos, in the threes, and in Pro-Am. If you're running an inside center build, this is 100% the build you're going to need to run to be dominant in NBA 2K21. And I had a build like this in NBA 2K20 that a lot of people were skeptical on. And when they made it, they loved the results. And this is going to be the same type of thing with this build. Now look, for your badge spread, you have a lot to play around with. With 30 defensive badges, you can really make sure that your paint is not sweet at all. You're going to be able to have all the necessary badges to do everything that you need to do. And to be honest, you can really run them all on Hall of Fame. And that's the craziest part. You really have the ability to be out there and just be an absolute demon, getting everything done that you need to get done. And obviously, this is just a template. You can run it to whatever fits you. This is how I personally would run it. But probably in my book, I wouldn't run box, but I know a lot of you guys would. That's why I'm putting it there. I would probably not run box and, and max these things out. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. So with 30 defensive badges, guys, people are not going to be able to mess with you in the paint. And you have a 90 speed. You're going to be able to hedge everything. And with a 90 speed, if you do get switched onto a guard, you're going to be able to lock him up because you have 30 defensive badges, Hall of Fame clamps, and a 90 speed. Does that not sound OP to you? And for your finishing badges, this is how I would run it. Again, just a template, and you can do it to whatever fits you. But keep in mind, guys, this build gets contact dunks. You have a high enough dunk rating to get contact dunks as well. So make sure that you have contact finisher on because you're going to be out there posterizing some people, all right? I'm telling you guys, this build is the jack of all trades and it can genuinely do it all. And if you make this build, you're not going to be disappointed because you're going to have an edge on every single person that's out there casually making a 6'11 to 7'3 center and they're going to be so slow in comparison to you. Now look, for build number two, it's the same concept. It is a center build, but you're going to go power forward. That way you can get down. Power forward is the meta for the center build. So look, what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're going to take the red and green pie chart because we're looking for a shooting center this time, all right? Same type of concept, speed pie chart. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and max your shooting out because we're shooting center. You wanna have as many shooting badges as possible and that's gonna give you 19 shooting badges. Same type of thing with the defense. You're gonna go ahead and max that out. Why? Because you are a shooting and defensive center. It's going to give you 21 upgrades. Now have 99 points to play around with in which I would go standing dunk, driving dunk, and driving layup. I would say that those are probably the three most important things. Close shot has never mattered and I don't see it mattering this year either. So there you go. That's your spread. 19 shooting, 21 defensive and rebounding. For your body shape, you're going to go ahead and take Burley the same way because it's just a Burley type of vibe, bro. Burley centers, you want to be able to get the contact with the player. So you're going to go Burley. Now look for your height. Again, you got to trust me here. Go 6'9 if you really want to, but I'm going to tell you the best, and that's to go 6'8. You're going to go 6'8, minimum wingspan. Again, I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell you strength is irrelevant. Repeat after me. Strength is irrelevant. It is irrelevant, guys. I'm telling you, you have never needed strength in NBA 2K, and it's not going to start now. Minimum weight, max wingspan. Trust me, max your wingspan. Do not be one of those people that minimize their wingspan to get three on their three-pointer. Max wingspan, when you're a 99, you'll have a 74-3. 70 is more than enough, but a 99, you'll have a 74, which is beyond enough for your takeover it's all preference please do not be one of those people that put sharpshooter takeover on their center build bro either go glass or rim i always prefer rim because it's going to get you more stops i think the glass is yeah it's good because it tells you where the rebound is but i just think rim is the most op takeover but again it's all preference so pick whichever one you do just do not be baited and pick sharp takeover my player build complete and as you guys can see you have built a three level score and that's a sneaky three level score because you have defense in your build. Most three level scores are the sharp builds. That's sneaky right there, fellas. I'm telling you, this build right here can get down. I'm telling you, if you're looking for a shooting center, this is the build for you, no doubt in my mind. Now for your badge spread, it's the same kind of concept. You just wanna make sure that you have the key badges on and make sure that you're running them as high as you can. That way you can get down and get busy. Like I said, if you want to throw box on, throw box on. I'm not really a box or a worm fan because I think that they kind of happen naturally. But make sure you have Pogo on, Intimidator, Clamps, Rebound Chaser, all that stuff. And if you feel like you need post-move lockdown, even though you don't need it, you can throw that on too. But 
Again, it's all preference. It's all based on what you guys think you need. This is just a template for you to follow. And for your shooting guys, all you ever needed was 10 to succeed in shoot greens, and that was with quick draw in the game. So with the removal, all you're gonna need is seven, but you have 19. So you're gonna max your range extender, you're gonna match your catch and shoot, you're gonna max your green machine, your hot zone hunter, and then you have three to play around with, with whatever you want, which I'd probably throw on dead eye or pick and popper or a combination of the two. And yeah, guys, you're pretty much moving at this point. You have a demon-like outside center that can defend the paint well and is going to be fast enough to hedge high and allow your man to get back. I'm telling you guys, six, eight centers are going to be the meta. They're going to be the meta, guys. I, I, I can't really explain it or emphasize it anymore. Those centers are going to dominate the game. Do not get left behind the curb. Do not be somebody who grinds out one of these 6'11 to 7'3 centers and then is stuck three weeks into the game having to make a new player because you didn't listen to me and 6'8 centers from the meta. I'm telling you, it always has been. It always will be. Speed kills. Strength is irrelevant. Be smart, guys. Make the right player. Just be smart, man. And that, my friends, is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to sub to the channel. That way you guys don't miss any of the banger uploads that I have coming all NBA 2K21. I appreciate you guys for watching. And as always, it's your boy Chalk. Stay tuned for more. And I'm out. Peace.